you must not wonder. Though you think it strange, to me, hold out my luring head so low, and that mine eyes take no delight to range. But the gleams which on your face do grow, the mouse which once hath broken out of the trap, is seldom ticed with the trustless bait, but lies aloof for the fear of more mishap, and feedeth still in doubt of deep deceit, and the scorched fly which once hath skipped the flame, will hardly come to play again with fire, whereby I learn that grievous is the game which follows fancy dazzled by desire. So that I wink, or else hold down my head, because your blazing eyes my bale have bred. The poem, for that he looked not upon her, uses many rhetorical techniques to tell the lyrical poem. In the first line of the poem, or first top part, George Gassinage starts to explain how he addresses how the person thinks it's strange and that he holds the luring head so low. This is very mysterious and insecure because he's addressing how the other person would think that it's strange. Throughout this poem, there are multiple times when a head or eyes or looking comes up and all of those are circled. Head so low, mine eyes, I wink eyes and my head. There's also many times where George Gassinage addresses love such as delight to range the gleams which on your face do grow, dazzled by desire, your blazing eyes. All of these show that he's potentially talking about someone who he would love or find is attracted to. Also, he uses many dic diction words that are negatively and solemnly influenced, like he uses the words trap, trustless, deceit, doubt, many other words that add to a very sad tone and very suffering, just the overall theme of suffering. In the first part, in summary, it says how the poem says he is basically um, wants to look at the other person's face, which is some person that they admire because of the words that they use. In this, they use many metaphors, such as comparing to a mouse that is broken out of a trap, um, a scorched fly, many metaphors to show the feelings. And it shows how he would have fear, trust issues, doubt, deceit about the person that he's talking about. Then, the desire or his ability to look at the girl is led by desire and uses the term play again with fire. I think this is here to describe his feelings towards the girl or whoever he's found himself in love with. I think there's an overall tone of suffering and wishing for something to happen. There's a couple spots where he uses alliteration such as doubt, deceit, and deep right here. And he also repeats it in Dazzled by Desire. And I believe that is all 
of the literary and thematic points from this poem.